If you think of Tokyo, you probably think of a big city with lots of lights, people, cars, etc. But did you know that Tokyo has also a lot of nature and beautiful islands? Like, you don't actually have to go to Okinawa if you crave beaches and nature. There is an island called Hachichochima, and I actually never heard about it before. So I went straight to Google and I had to check why is this island still in Tokyo and how? And look, it's here, this tiny little island, and we decided to go and check it out. arriving at Haneda and it is 9.43 <laughs> our flight is at 12 and he's gonna has to find the parking yeah. I have to drive so fast <laughs> please and um, we're meeting our friends from Australia and I haven't seen her since 11 years and Yusuke saw her maybe six years ago and um, she was the one that was like our friend when we got together so she's with us since the beginning <laughs> I'm so excited it's actually pretty close to Haneda so we went by car to Haneda and park it there We were flying with a and and the check-in process was really smooth and we were there like two hours before just to be sure because we were traveling with two little kids and then we were able to board the plane and I love flying with a a or also Japanese airline. They're so friendly, the staff, and they take really good care of you if you're traveling with kids and then the plane was ready to take off. And maybe you knew that. I love airplanes, so I'm really, really excited whenever I get to ride on a plane. And now my son loves it too, and we are both super excited. And the flight time is only one hour, so you go up, have a little drink, and then you're already landing. And this is how it looks like. Like, you can actually tell it's an island. And Yusuke's friend owns a B&B on the island. It's called Lodge Ocean. And we were staying there in a tatami room because it's the easiest if you travel with two kids because they can sleep on the futon. You don't have to be scared they fall down. And then we had the package with breakfast and dinner. And this was the dinner. Every day, like completely freshly made food with fish. Lots of fish, fresh fish and vegetables. And it was super, super delicious. And a lot of little side dishes. It was amazing. Sakana no sukiyaki. Yabo. Maso sukiyaki desu. Tofu. あ、明日は明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は。あ、明日は
up the sky so we started for our little hike like for a long walk and, and please keep in mind we have a three-year-old oh. and a one-year-old that's not walking yet so i was carrying the one-year-old on my back and we actually own a hiking backpack but we forgot it in our house so oh. leo had to walk <laughs> So, Leo is getting tired. Need to use the secret weapon. And Levi keeps pulling my hair. And we just saw people coming down and they said it's super windy on the top, so we have to be careful. No, you scared. Mm. Leo, do you want grape jelly? Yeah. Okay, just wait. Oh. Yusuke has to carry Leo. And I'm carrying Levi. <laughs> and he's pulling my hair. Hi, those up. You could eat. And when we reached the top, it was insanely windy and we couldn't see much. But it was fun adventure and the hike is not too bad. Like if you go without kids, I think you'll be fine with 40, 50 minutes, but it took us longer because we had to carry the little ones. And maybe try to go on a nice sunny day. <laughs> Then after the hike, the sky cleared up, of course. <laughs> and then we explored the beach that is right in front of the Lodge Ocean. And it's perfect for kids. Easy, baby. Okay, what are you gonna do? Why are you wearing this? I'm going in the freezer <laughs> to, to get frozen, the fish for dinner. Frozen sushi. Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh? That is superhero now. That is superhero. <laughs> I have to save the world. And of course, we wanted to explore the underwater as well. So we signed up for a snorkeling tour. <laughs> And apparently you would be able to see turtles. So let's see if we saw some. Was super, 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 super awesome. What did you see? Tato, four of them, five uh -huh. of them, uh -huh. a lot of fish. And the sleeping turtle. Yeah. And did you see the mermaid? Um, kind of. <laughs> it <know>. was me. <laughs> it was so much fun. We can insert some photos. It was a really cool experience. Mm. And now. Levi is taking a nap and Leo is living his best life on the beach. And all around the island you can find little viewpoints and you can actually see to the middle of the island and you see the airport. So if you're an aviation geek as me, <laughs> like me, you can see the airplanes landing and take off and that's amazing. And there are small little volcanoes around the island. And there's a little farm and of course we had to go and there the and they had really beautiful cows. Na-ma-mi, na-ma-mi, na-ma-na-na-mi. 
good. You wanna be a cow here? Yeah, it's the best view. Wow. This is the farm. And then this is the view. Ocean view. Five star hotel. There is also a waterfall we wanted to check out. And it's, it's so green. It's beautiful. And the hike is only 10 minutes. So not too bad if you're traveling with little kids. And there is a hot spring nearby. Again, carrying today. I have one on my back. I mean, can you believe this is Tokyo? Part of Tokyo. <laughs> So if you're looking for a nice um, weekend getaway and you don't want to fly too long, we totally recommend you to visit Hachijojima. It's perfect for families as well. And there's the beautiful beach. And if you're an aviation lover like me, you can see the airplane. The food was amazing. The nature is beautiful. And we all had such a great time. Thank you so much, Hachijojima. We will come back for sure. Thank you so much for watching our video and we hope to show you more remote places in Japan and stay tuned for the next video. And as always, take care and see you soon again. It's not